Apple, are you ever going to make another 27-inch iMac? And what can you do to make sure it happens? Let's talk about it. All right, imagine a life without the beloved 27-inch iMac ever coming back. It would be terrible. I'm just joking, right? Of course I'm joking. Uh, can you still do that on YouTube? I'm not even sure you can still joke anymore because I know I'm going to get people saying, oh, life's so tough, it's a first world problem. It's a joke. But let's go on. Are they actually going to bring this back? That's what this video is all about. And also, what can you do to make sure they do? Let's talk about it. All right, back to the 27-inch iMac. So it would be great to know that you can buy a 27-inch iMac in the future for that starting price of under $2,000. That was the most beautiful thing ever, right? It's basically, it always puts a smile on people's faces when you sit them down in front of an iMac for the first time. They see the 5K screen. They look at the resolution of it. They watch content on YouTube, watch all the different videos and stuff start creating on it. It's what got me started and it's what really I miss about, you know, Apple in general is that's the iconic kind of Mac for me is the, the iMac, really. And a lot of people either love it or hate it. There's going to be all different types out there, like I said, but really it's for me the best. And if, you know, we got to make sure we bring this back. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what my prediction is for 2023 and then if I really think we can do something about it. All right, so if I had to guess about the 27-inch base model, and I want to make sure everyone understands, this is the base model, not the pro model, the base model that you can probably pick up for around two grand. So are they going to bring it back this year or maybe ever? It's close, but I don't think any cigars are going to be given out today. So the problem with it is, is I think there's a lot of data pointing that it's going to be a problem, but there's some things people can do to help, and I'm going to go through that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some data on this, show you why I don't think it might be produced, and uh, you know, with some data behind it, but this is one of the things that I wish I'm going to be wrong on for sure. I have a 24-inch iMac sitting right here, and you can bet your bottom dollar this would be a 27-inch sitting right there if they had one out right now. I, they don't, so I had to buy this. I had to, right? Ooh, here we go again, all the comments, right? I'm just joking, but long story short is I just don't like it as much as the 27. A lot of people don't either, and you're kind of forced into buying this, right? So at the end of the day, let's talk about a little bit why I don't think this is coming out with data to prove it, and then I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you can do to actually make Make it happen hopefully this year or next year all right and really before i get into that i do think there's going to be a 27 inch imac pro coming out this year but the problem for all small guys that don't rock a you know porsche cayenne i'm joking i actually love his channel um anyways anyone that doesn't rock that porsche cayenne can't afford it because those are going to be like three to seven thousand dollars if you're lucky and most people sitting especially in my position can't afford that nor would i want to i couldn't sleep at night right I'm not spending $7,000 on a computer when I can get something for $1,000 or $2,000 that is almost as good. I'm not that kind of person. I obviously have a channel with Mac, so sometimes I overbuy what I need, but I always tell people only buy what you need. That's the most important thing. And let's move on now. That's all I wanted to set for the precedent. All right, so why do I think the, the base model, mind you, 27 inch iMac is not coming out this year? I think. Again, I think there'll be a 24 inch. Again, I didn't know if I said that, but I think there'll be the, the 27 inch Pro, but I think there'll be a 24 inch base model with either the M2 or the M3 chip maybe. But why isn't the 27 coming out? We have to look at some numbers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, share my screen here to show you some graphs. Not too exciting, but it's actually very interesting. So stay tuned and watch this. So if you look over here, you can see that this is Apple's revenue by quarter, the last quarter basically. And they made over $117 billion in revenue. You can see it here. And the net profit was $30 billion. I mean, that's like a country, right? Anyways, if you look over here though, look at this graph. I'm gonna to try to zoom in. It's not actually something I, I produced, but basically it lists all the services. And you see dead last down here, which is this green area. Way down here is Mac sales. It's Mac net sales. Then it's iPod, which they kind of weaned off so there's none of those right now but then services wearables iPads which are huge and also iPhones which are the the king of everything Apple right so if you look at this chart right off the bat you're gonna notice this is the lowest spot right now and that's all Macs that includes all desktops you know just like uh, obviously the Mac mini that just came out um, the studio it also includes all laptops too and also the beloved iMac so let's take that in perspective right now look at that graph and you can see where it is way down there now the next graph all right, now we look at this graph, it breaks it down even further, but look at this pie here. And go over here and look at this iMac pie. You can see it there in green. It's basically sitting right there, 6.6%, right? Of all the sales, what does it come out to? 117 billion, that's a big number, billion. 6.6% um, are Macs. But 
that's all Macs, right? That's not the iMac. Now, I've done a lot of kind of searching for this, and I think this is going to be in the high end, but I'm going to use this because it's a round number. It's going to be close. It's impossible because Apple doesn't really give all their numbers out there. But what I found is out of all the Macs that they sell, and even on a good year, it's probably going to be no more than 10% of those Macs are going to be iMacs. So 10%. So what we can do then is we can take... First of all, we can take the $117 billion, and I'll have some numbers up here and show you what that is in, in revenue. And then the, the max in general only gets 6.6% of that. And here's the number here. And I think I actually found the number. Let me see if I can find it on my paper. All right, I found it. So out of the $117 billion that you know Apple sells with all their stuff, only 7.2 billion come to max. Now that's a huge amount of money for some companies and obviously a lot of companies or most companies, but 7.2 billion versus 117 billion. Those are massive numbers. But of that 7.2, only 10%, and that's on the high end, are related to Max or IMAX, I'm sorry, IMAX. And, uh, and even less of that's probably the 27. But even 10% of that number comes out to, let me just see, we'll do the math on billion. It's gonna be around, I think, $772 million, probably in IMAX. So seven seven hundred and seventy-two million dollars out of one hundred and seventeen billion dollars. Now I know a lot of people aren't good with math. Do the math on that, and it's it's it's, it's a lot more. Let's put it that way. But long story short, is that's not even all the twenty. That's not all twenty-seven. And that's going to be the pros. It's going to be obviously the twenty-four inch, which is going to take up the bulk of that. So it's probably going to be. $300 million out of one, what is it, 117 billion. And therein lies the issue on why Apple puts none of its effort into this because why would they put effort into something that costs them a ton of money to probably develop, but they don't get a lot of revenue. They get probably, you know, $75 billion from the iPhone and then they get, you know, five or three or four hundred million dollars from this specific model of the, you know, iMac. So to me, it makes literally no sense for them to do that. And that's why I don't think they're gonna actually come out with it this year. And just to say one last thing is that that equates to like 0.6% of all their revenue or even less. Probably when you splice that down, it's going to be probably like 0.3 to 0.2%, 0.2%, 0.1% of all the revenue on that 27-inch. And uh, you see the writings on the wall. All right, so what can you do to solve this, right? What can we all do to solve this? And the, the question is going to be, again, I'm going to get beat up because people are going to say, oh, it's a first world problem. But when these things come out, and they're going to probably come out later this year, the 24-inch, Buy them. It's very simple. Buy as many as you can for your office. Buy them for your home, if you have the money, of course. Buy them whenever you can, but make sure you actually take the beloved iMac that you always loved and put your money where your mouth is and buy one. Because what's going to happen is you can sell it a couple years later, right? Sell it for 70, 80% of the cost in two years from then. But if we get enough sales, I think, on the iMac, the 24-inch here, don't, don't, no one buy the Pro. I don't want the Pro being bought. Unless, unless you're a professional, you make a ton of money, right? But buy this one over here that's going to have the M2 or M3 chip, and then maybe Apple will get the idea to make a 27-inch. That's the only way it's ever going to happen. Maybe you can write them, you know, email them, do whatever you can do. I know there's not probably enough of us out there that want that 27. I would like a 32, actually, but we'll take the 27. But email them, write them. Also, buy this one right here when it comes out next, and it's going to all help, hopefully, have them come out with a 27 inch base model where we can spend $2,000, put that experience in front of somebody the first time I've seen that incredible screen and uh, have that all in one system that's just elegant and, and everyone, you know, realistically it does put a smile on everyone's face that uses it. It's a great system. It's the one that I learned to make all my content on and make my channel on. So without further ado, I'll stop and I'm just gonna stop right there because that's the only two things we can do really is we have to see the problem and then know how to solve it and it's gonna be money, unfortunately, and uh, we can't just rely on Apple to cover us there. So we'll talk to everybody soon, and I hope everyone's having a great start to their year, 2023. Hopefully this will be a good year for Apple stuff. We'll see. We'll talk to you in the near future. Peace.